Hello citizens of Prime Mighty Nation of Death Marsh and welcome to the Frontiers. We're playing Europa Universalis 4 and we are just we are just full steam ahead here. Ottomans are at war with Hungary. Sorry? The Ottomans are at war with Guj in the Timri Jihad against Guj. So Ottomans and France are at war with each other. Which doesn't really concern me too much, uh, except the coalitions might be a problem. So your truce runs out in five... Oh, they'll be done in five years. They'll be done in five years, not to worry. Yeah, it's the same truce for these two as well. Avignon has fallen. We've conquered Venice, which is pretty good as far as provinces go. So Coney is gone as well. Uh, Provence, my friend. Oh, yeah, I won't be able to take too much. <laughs> it's going to cause a lot of aggressive expansion if I took these two. Well, these two and Barois, just so that, uh, you know, it's kind of locked around here. Yeah, the French are not going to break an alliance over this, and this should be feasible. As soon as this fort falls, let's send an army to clear out that riffraff, shall we? Or Calcuyer has fallen. Yeah, they're still unwilling to surrender. Oh, God damn it! No, 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 you keep going north, and you, you're going to be able to handle that. What is Naples doing here? What is Naples doing in Nice? I do not understand that. Is Genoa just gone? Yeah, Genoa's gone. Alright, this is looking good. Side with the burgers? Nah, side with the clergy. Go occupy this stuff. End the war. Oh wait, Andrew still exists. I really forgot about Andrew. Sadly, I cannot give it to the French because it's not a core, it's just a claim. I have tons of money lying around doing nothing. Let's build up those manufactories. Those manufactories are surely gonna roll in my buckets of ducats. Just the way I like it. The Ottomans are just rolling into into France. I don't think France can withstand the Ottoman advance here. All right, we're gonna go clear that out, and then we're just gonna split and siege. We don't need to take administrative ideas because we're gonna be taking a bunch of land, just as we have done in the past, like how many years? <laughs> right, let's go liberate Alsace. I kind of forgot that they have occupied it actually. So, Provence, care to make a peace offer? Alright, just some money will do. Some money will do. How's France feeling about that? He's feeling it a little bit. He's feeling it now, Mr. Krabs, but not too much. Not too much. Not too badly. Switzerland, my friend, you are just gonna be dead so in a second here. Full annexation. Alright, that's Switzerland dead and gone. Thank God, finally. The state that shall, shall not be named is just completely dead. Okay. And now let's finish Naples off. So, with Naples. What do we want with Naples? I'm kind of weirded out that they have Nice, but apparently they have Nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these four, and then either Napoli or Salerno. I'm thinking Napoli, just so that they're isolated. And then we don't need to take their money, just so we can be at war with them as soon as possible. Okay, that's good stuff. Neapel is in our hands now. We are a little bit overly ex overextended here. 
a little overly extended for some moderate amount of time. So let's just chill here for a sec. Uh, we are doing really good. We're doing really good on time as well. We can afford to get another army. And I think we're, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get another army going. We're going to get a missionary going in Venedig. Waldstadt should be court soon. How much overextension that will take off me? 6%? Uh, that's not a lot. I was hoping for a little bit more than that, but hey. Next closest thing will be Zundgau, which is another 9. That's going to be like pretty much right under 115%. Uh, 100%, I think. I think. I get some revolts happening. That's just gonna be unavoidable. These guys are guaranteed by... Why is Provence just guaranteeing people? That's not working out well for them at all. I can invest in Miltech 22. Yeah, let's do that. Just making sure that I'm not stepping into any terrible disasters by clicking the button. But I'm not, so we should be okay there. I wanted to build a fort in Waldstadt there, but first we need to make it a core. Bad reputation. They're overreacting as always. Ooh, Bohemia are no longer friends with Prussia. What happened? Oh, Prussia's free. That's what happened. They are friends with Brandenburg, however, which is, you know, annoying still. Brandenburg does have all of that aggressive expansion. Daxin and Oberlaus, it's yeah, we're gonna get a bunch of events like these. At least until these two cores are completed. I don't know, maybe more. Zundgau is very good for us to have though. Yeah, I, I only hope that they don't like break break treaties with me. That should not be in their best interests. It should not be in the interests of Ottomans to do. But man, who knows? Who knows what, what's gonna happen? Who knows? Kind of would be interested in acquiring Sardinia. And Corsica. And Sicily. I would be interested in acquiring, like, everything here, but, you know. Morocco is allied with uh, Ottomans. That's a bit of a shame. I could, I could make an alliance with the Mamluks. They're a bit of an Ottoman fodder at the moment, though. So maybe not. So far, the Ottoman alliance has been fruitful, but uh, I'm just worried that it might not last. Alright, let's make sure that Denmark is 100% on our side. I'm, I'm just a little bit worried about the Ottoman alliance, you know? They are expanding pretty rapidly, and I'm just worried just maybe, you know, maybe they'll be expanding too rapidly for my taste. Wouldn't want them to become unbeatable, you know. They're already pretty powerful. We are on par, actually, in terms of development. Spain's still number one. We can no longer claim this as part of our territory. Well, they put a claim on Salerno, right? Yeah, we did. Let's recall this guy, and as far as claims on Milan go, we'll just go for the heart. We'll go straight for the heart, and then uh, for Piemont. Importing coffee, let's gain mercantilism instead. Working on Provence, uh, we don't work. We don't need to work on Austria. We do need to work on Toscania, though. Toscana. Quite happy that the French liberated Naples now because you know we were able to we were able to immediately pounce on it. But the conquest certainly does not stop here. No, 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 no. Within this, within this one, seventy years, we went from owning just a little bit of land here, not even enough to become a, no, 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 enough to become a kingdom, like just enough to this and an empire status. 
Empire government rank. That's incredible. Commandant is dead. Well, yeah, we actually have a couple of dead advisors. This guy's half price. This guy's improved relations. President Henning Wybin. You just vibing, dude. Okay, revolt. That's revolting, my guy. We have an admiral. <laughs> I'll just wait for him to die. It's okay. Do we keep Wybin? Dude, I, I'm just feeling we gotta keep Wybin. He's, he's very old. But it's not like we don't have Republican tradition. Eh, let's just elect a new guy. Wybin might die soon. Nah, this guy's a bit greedy, though. Shouldn't be too terrible, though. Being greedy never hurt anybody, did it? We have a truce with this guy. Okay, take a breath. Milanese separatists. Dude. Leave the French alone, man. They're, they've, they've had their fair share of struggles. Why is this even an interest for you, France? Why are you defending Googe? There's no Googe. France would really not want to participate in that one. Hmm. How about our army comparison now? Armies. Yeah, we have the second strongest army now. Just behind the Ottomans. So as long as we're friendly with the Ottomans, nothing should be threatening us. Manpower pools are big. Making fat stacks of money. I could have a bigger army, actually, if I had more manpower. So instead of that, we're going to spend on more many factories. Oh, we are even... We're actually in progress of building more. Uh, we'll seize them in their wealth. Austrian separatists rise in Zundgau. Yeah, right. As if that's going to help them out. Oh yeah, that's where my manpower went. I built another army, didn't I? Okay, convert provinces. Let's convert provinces. Italy is pretty much all reformed, so we'll have to make do there. What? He already did? <laughs> okay. Bureaucrat candidate. The greedy ass has died. He's not, not anything like Hen... Um... Henry Wybin? President Wybin? President Wybin, that's what I wanted to say. Um, are there any more claims on Milan I could put down? I can put down a claim in Piemont. That's it. I don't have any more possible claims. And here I want to claim these and these. I mean, Luxembourg just for the pretty borders, but then um, France might want it. Okay, they did not... They didn't get their treaties with me broken, thank god. Oh, they're not even interested in Luxembourg, even though it's a permanent claim. Hmm. They might even renounce it through the event if I take it. That would be good. That'd be good for me. Hey France, we're not touching. We're not touching for like, for real, man. You know... If Netherlands doesn't want to be my friend, maybe I should just absorb Netherlands. But that's gonna be a ton of expansion. No, 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 no. Oh, what are you doing? Is that because France didn't join? I think it's because France didn't join. Yeah, and I think Russia didn't either, so I'll actually accept this. This allows me to fight Bohemia again, and it allows me to put a truce on Bohemia. Which is actually really freaking valuable. 
Like, extremely valuable. You may not even understand how valuable that is. Alright, let's put, uh, let's put generals in there and let's just send them in to have some fun in Bohemia. We can advance our admin ideas, but we're about to take a tech! No! <laughs> Trust your neighbor. Alright, what's the next idea group that I want to take now? Plutocratic might finally be a thing. We have morale of armies, unrest, merchants, but then again, there's humanist, man. Look at that. Unity, unrest, tolerance, separatism, years, and it gives so many good policies, too, that we won't really have access to, actually. <laughs> Maybe offensive ideas might be slightly better, or even just plutocratic in general would be better. What about influence or trade? Yeah, actually, yeah, trade. I think at this point, trade is really good, isn't it? Yeah, we're collecting a fairly sizable amount of money. Yeah, let's go for trade ideas next. We're not really doing anything with our diplomatic points, so we should be completely fine doing that. We immediately should have a cold, yep. Coalition is building up, but uh, I don't think it's going to amount to much. Why are why are Ottomans at war with Brandenburg? Because they are defender against Spain. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm giving access to uh, Ottomans, so they should have no problem reaching Spain. We won the Siege of Tuchola. Dude, we're just steamrolling Bohemia here, aren't we? Can we get to Zemplin? You should be going to Zemplin then. You should be going to Krakow and you should be going to Trenzin. <clears throat> yeah, and with that, Bohemia is going to be out of it. Let's do that. Redistribute the money elsewhere and we'll keep investing into more many factories. We can make states, Lazio, Campania, Lorraine definitely should be a state, La uh, Central Italy should definitely be a state, this no, uh, Burgundy will be a state, Lazio, Campania will be a state, alright, good, let's make them real course, you're at war with Provence and Tuscany, <sighs> whatever, what are you going for? Probably Luxembourg, aren't you? Haven't you tried, tried this before, Netherlands? I think you tried this before and you failed. Isn't Provence like... Def yeah, Provence is defended by Tuscany. I don't think you are strong enough to take on Tuscany just by yourself here, Mr. Netherlands. While being... While, while it's ambitious, and I admire it, I don't think it's viable for you. We won the Semplin. Okay. At this point, I'm just like... Bro. <laughs> Just beat Norway, dude. Just beat him already. Maybe I want to become a defender of the faith. Who else is Protestant? France. There aren't that many Protestant nations. Yeah, I'll become defender of the faith. That also allows me to convert more provinces at once, which is really the only... Which is really the main goal of this shenanigan. Brandenburg is in the coalition again. Brandenburg, you're like nowhere near me anymore. Can you like drop the pretense already? Oh, Prussia owns Plock. Okay. So Brandenburg is now stuck with like four provinces, I want to say? Yeah, four provinces. Prussia is doing good things again in, in uh, Great Horde, at least. Eh, I don't see Russia coming out on any position of importance in this in this Europe. <clears throat> Not with the Ottomans this big. The fact that the Ottomans continuously fight against the Spa the Spanish is really really good for me though. And the fact that I keep winning in Morocco is not that good though. Yeah, okay, we need the points for more techs. 
I don't know, just just walk over Bohemian territory, I guess. I didn't even, I didn't even see the Bohemian armies yet. Did they even exist? Yeah, Bohemia has armies somewhere. Pretty sizable amount of cannons there. So they have like a stack running around, but I just don't know where. Oh boy. Here we go, walking over Bohemia again. Oh, there it is. I found it. Uh, Rebels? Rebels where? Sorry? Hostile Siege. Oh, there it is. Right there. I'm blind. Kill it. Jesus Christ, man. What happened to you? Although, we're going to have so much more brute morale as well. If I do ever go plutocratic... Screw it. Screw trade. I'm going plutocratic. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with my points, but heck. With my diplo points, but heck. I'm going... I'm going in, fellas. Tech. Well, I guess I'll keep uh, keep up to date with Diplotech is what's going to happen. Jesus, man. We're just ripping and tearing through them, dude. They don't have any morale. They do lots of damage. I'll give them that. They do do damage. Okay, these guys are done. I'll just occupy some stuff. Um. Yeah, I don't think you can win this battle, my guys, but uh, we've got reinforcements on the way, so it should be good. Ooh, forgot about this army. I have so many armed forces, I keep forgetting about them. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ooh, they're retreating to Moldavia. Okay, these four are done. You can go sort these occupations. And you can... These, these four, you can go sort out uh, these. Please just, please just kill them. No, they're still alive. Technology! What? Nobody took, nobody took? No, somebody took it. It's just, they took it literally this year. All right. And yeah, we're going plutocratic. For that morale bonus, manpower recovery speed, which is, well, it's going to be really helpful. That means we can, then we will just literally not going to have to ever stop. Never stop expanding, like, ever. Right. Um... Where are you even going, dude? I feel like he's running into some of my troops here. Yeah, he is. Alright, I wonder where he's going to now. Probably to Moldavia again, actually. Yeah, it seems like it. Well, that's Bohemia fully sieged. Uh, let's combine our forces again into single singular units, and that's that's uh, yeah, that's Bohemian armies done. 
Let's keep them kind of together as well. All right. Oh, yes. Denmark is back at home. Denmark's back. Back again. Okay. These two combine. Rip and tear, fellas. Rip and tear. All right. We'll try to keep our forces somewhat together, I guess. We have a coalition going against us, right? Yeah, we should. We should. Plutocratic ideas. We can invest into them. Yep, we should. Abolished serfdom. Were you fighting? Netherlands. Yeah, Netherlands. Right. Keep forgetting. Keep forgetting about it. This truce is until 1682, and wasn't there some that ran out soon? Ah, uh, this one. Yeah. The Milanese, and they're allied with Naples, which means I can gobble them, gobble them up as well. And actually, this time I'll be probably annexing Naples outright. How big are they? 38%. Yeah, I should be able to annex them, even if they're not co-belligerent. Too few rivals. Uh, let's see... Denmark, France, Ottomans, Russia. So you're kind of forcing my hand here, aren't you? I kind of don't want to pick any of these. Honestly. Right now, I don't want to pick any of them up as rivals. I do not need more rivals. The last thing I need is more rivals. Except with maybe Russia. Russia maybe should be a rival. Let's rival Russia. Rivaling Russia allows me to keep on friendlier terms with Ottomans, still, and Denmark, and France, since they're all hated. Um, since Russia hates them all. And Russia is not really going to be a threat anyway, so. <laughs> Nor was it war with Fulo. Oh dear god. Alright, let's find out who will be our ally. Who will be our friend? There's a Great Horde that will be our friend. There's a Jam that will be our friend. Morocco, Fulo, some Indians. Any closer, maybe? A Jam. How strong is a Jam? They're not even great power. Will any great power be my friend? You don't really care about me, do you? You are, however, ally with the Ottomans. If only you knew more about me, Mr. Timurid, we would be such good friends. So Denmark, France, and Ottomans I'm allied to. Spain I'm rivaling. Russia I'm rivaling. There's at least mostly the Timurids. And a jam. A jam is allied with the Ottomans. Yeah, fine, we'll do it. He's allied with the Ottomans. He's a safe bet. His troops will just contribute. Just literally contribute to the amount of forces on my side. That's all. That's all I want them to do. Okay, so we can afford a bigger army. Let's do a bigger army. Army is big now. We have achieved strongness. We have achieved powerfulness. Obviously, if Luxembourg falls to the to the Dutch, then this will not really matter, but we might as well make a claim. Might as well claim that we matter. All right, I wanted a fort in Waldstadt. Wait until this completes in March 1675. <laughs> A level six fort, why not? We shall upgrade this fort and this one as well. Mm, probably upgrade the fort in Alsace too. Just to keep these defenses up to scratch in case we do need them. And we might actually end up needing them. You can purchase an age ability, but 
Now I don't really care about any of them, so we'll just pick something. Don't need to worry about Spy Network in Provence. You are in a coalition against me. We need to not miss this deadline. For 1676 May is when we want um, to declare war on Milan. Level 3 advisor, I'll take him. It's not perfect to do that, but hey. But hey. We have some free diplomats. You know what they could do? They could go to outraged countries and talk to them a little bit. <clears throat> maybe, maybe, maybe we'll be able to kick some of them out of the coalitions. Who knows? Who knows? This guy's guaranteed by Maravi. I don't even know who Maravi is. <laughs> oh, God. I can't imagine some Africans being like, Oh! The state of Norway must be protected. It is imperative. Tuscan conquest of Navarra. I might want to wait until um, Tuscan gets beat by Milanese. <sighs> but then again, why wait, right? Why wait? They might join coalitions and do all sorts of funny shenanigans. Unlike truces, they cannot predict when their war is going to end against Tuscany. They are now winning, but, you know, they might stop winning. Oh, wait, I was building a spy network here because I ran out of claims. Right. Let's keep making claims then. So, April, next month we should be able to declare war on these pesky Milanese, and so we are. Okay. Just insta-declare Milan is ours. And now they're not getting away. We are going to take their land. We are going to finish off Naples. They're donezo. They're donezo, dudes. An army career. Yeah, we have plenty of uh, army tradition. These guys are not unacceptable. Ah, oh, just barely. If I had a little tiny bit more admin efficiency, man. <sighs> Maybe I sit on Milan for 11 years. You know, that could actually be worth it. Sit on Milan for a really long time until I'm able to get 10% additional administrative efficiency so that I can actually fully annex them instead of having to worry about them joining a coalition of some of some such. Although, if they grow in size throughout the time, which they're, they're not, they're, it seems like they just white-pieced. Good. Good. Ooh. Ooh, they brought an army back with them. <laughs> well, sucks to be you, Milan, because that army ain't gonna cut it. Ain't gonna cut it, dude. Is he gonna run away to, like... Where is he running to? If Piemont is over, let's go take that down. No, but like, seriously. Oh, he's going to Nice, to his ally territory. <laughs> he still did not take Luxembourg. <laughs> what the heck, man? Oh, Netherlands is the coalition against us. He still did not take Luxembourg, man. What? Ah, <laughs> oh, claim Rome. Finally, we can lay claim to the to the city itself. We're coming back. We're coming home, Rome. We're coming home. We can invest in a new administrative idea. No, 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 no. We want to annex. We want to annex, dudes. One hundred and three. Size, from development, from local trade power, local autonomy, administrative efficiency, further modifies by 31%. Yeah, if we get more administrative efficiency, we'll be, we'll be Gucci. Siege of Salerno is over. Yeah, everything is done, though. All these guys are done. 
With our next war with Provence, actually, we're going to be going for more than just these three. We're going to be going for Kuni as well. Maybe even this. I don't know. That's just that's just if if uh, if the AE allows it. Wait, you're no longer leading the. Oh God. He's no longer leading the union with Hungary. He's lost his union. Gosh darn it, France. You can't even keep that. Can't even hold a simple union, man. No, we don't have a... Technically, we don't have a neighboring province yet with uh, Provence. Which we are about to have in a second. That is going to be a coalition again. Coalition territory. Who cares? Alright, 31% and we're just now sitting on Milan. Sitting on Milan. Sitting on Milan. Should have waited until I was able to get here. Now I'll just have to get here by bits. I have two transports. Yeah, this is embarrassing. Let's get me more transports, please. Uh, plop and plop and plop. This should be plenty. Coring all of this stuff. Ay, uh, yay, yay, yay. Okay. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Build Spy Network in Tuscany. Tuscany. Wait, what if I vassalized him? I don't think it would be... No, he's going to have a lot of this aggressive expansion that I'll never be able to free myself of. Yeah, no, 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 no. Vassalizing him is a bad idea. Unless I can annex him and then spit him out. But that's even worse because then he'll grab like this. Uh, this province right here will go to him. Because he never loses it. Alright, yeah, now we also acquired a bunch of provinces that are next to Provence. Let's claim those, and now we can head home. Anyway, thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We've claimed Naples to ourselves. We've claimed this bit to ourselves. We've captured Venice. We're working on Provence. I hope I'll see you again next time, and as always, have a majestic, beautiful day. Bye-bye.